erotic painting. It's a new way of perceiving. Painting anything can be done as a task or it can be done as a really therapeutic process. So there's, you know, therapy in art where you actually can do a lot of healing and therapy through the painting, through the art or, or creating something. Painting with the juices of the yoni or the vajra, it's really profound. It's far more profound to bless the canvas with your essence rather than take holy water from Glastonbury. <laughs> really blessing it from the core of your being, from your essential core of yourself, the essence of, you know, of you. Okay, so it can be all the goddess, you know, like for me, it'll be all the Hana. <laughs> it's important to get that actually, like, for instance, the Yoni is, is very different. The vulva, the female vulva is different every day. Every yeah. day it smells differently. It looks different. You know, you can actually even paint your own Yoniverse over a period of 28 days if you do that. That would be oh, no. such a therapeutic, yeah. So do it first in your mind's eye, how you think it is, you know, and then after a first few times, you then go on to the new moon or full moon, you start sometime and you then really look at it with a mirror, you know, and, and draw it as you see it. But first draw it from your imagination, your perception draw it or, or three dimensional collage it or whatever and definitely in the menstrual cycle use the blood you know to anoint the painting if you like mm -hmm. because that blood in fact the blood of of the virgins was used in the third eye you know that was originally comes from the blood of the virgin and now it's highly elaborated kind of you know, little trinkets, so or it, it's perfect marketing for you. <laughs> Definitely use the blood to honor the canvas, whether it's a canvas or a piece of wood or ply, it doesn't matter, but to honor, leave that, you know, the mark, it is phenomenal. Um, saliva as well has a lot of, you know, the saliva has a lot of electromagnetic kind of charge to it as well. That's why exchanging bodily fluids, highly charged up. So you could do that. I mean, I'm not saying go and don't go and lick your paint. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Especially if it has other paint on it, you know, but uh, definitely. Yeah. Yes. yeah. It is amazing. And especially um, after you dedicate your love union, yeah. you know, you can, you can use that. It's phenomenal, phenomenal union. Yeah from the Holy Divine Communion. Yeah. So it really is important to actually, you know, take that and, and reclaim that, reclaim the sacredness of, of the, you know, the juices of the Holy Communion. So it is used as high tantric practices and rituals. We just need to reclaim it. It's something that has been lost. Now, you know, if you think about it, when you're painting your, your universe or you know if you look at um if you look at the painting of hildegard von bingham she was a, a great uh mystic a german born but she lived in france and she was a great mystic she was a nun she had her own convent and she was in divine communion with the christ but her painting, I used it in one of my, in my first book, actually, her painting is, is perfect. I'll, um, I'll find it and, and I'll post it. Mm. It is just phenomenal. Her painting, it's, it's got the, the clitoris, it's got the labias, the outer and the inner, and yeah. the left labia is blue and the, um, sorry, is red and the right labia is, is blue. And then there's the urethra, and then there is the yoni, entrance to the yoni, and then there is the anus at the bottom. And that painting is actually used as a Christmas card still till nowadays, because it, she's done it in, in symbolic form. 
It is phenomenal, phenomenal. I also would recommend for you to, if you draw your clitoris, you might find that it looks like what you described, the, you know, the, the black widow kind of, the Yoni Mandala. Do that as your, because it's so important for us to honor and uh, that essential part of ourselves. I do high rituals um, with some places, some, tantric and, and some sexual which is about honoring and worshiping the goddess and the different stages and and where the goddess also honors us you know and uh, uh. very profound very profound where people go and they bow down to the universe and they get initiated it's got an amazing energy to it supercharged well, you can use you can use wood or plywood or even the walls. You can use cardboard from the shopping. You can use that as a canvas. You know, I mean, honoring yourself at all times. You know, I'm always dressed, as you know, you've seen me. I, I always dress up nicely, and it's about honoring myself every moment could be like the last moment you know right. especially you know a few years ago i was resuscitated on the way to the hospital i stopped breathing in the car <laughs> um and that's when i contracted the pneumonia and i didn't stop working with the pneumonia and then of course um on the way to the hospital after after one seizure my daughter took me to the hospital and that's when on the way to the hospital i picked out and you know she had to resuscitate me that was so yeah I, I always dress up nicely it could be this is it you know so that's number one is always always dress up nicely to whatever it is alternatively dress down nicely so you know you want to paint do it in your in your birth suit you want to paint you do it in your birthday suit be nude and use your body as part of yeah. the tool for the canvas so you can actually you know put put obviously um sheets or or plastic covering or tarpaulin and then put your canvas material whether it is plywood make sure that there's no splinters <laughs> if it's cardboard make sure that there's no uh metal metal staple staples and and really just go to town with it and use how erotic it is to put to put um paint on yourself and use your body as the paintbrush and see what amazing things and it's okay to get it in your hair there's showers you know it yeah. is so it is so erotic i mean as children if you look at a child aged two and a half three years old and you give them gouache paint they will put it in their hands they will spread it all over their thighs it is it is wonderful or or, or put them in in wet mud it is so tactile and it's so erotic and it's so um invigorating and if yeah. you have another person to do that with what fun <laughs> very profound so we did oil paints but for couples you know drawing on each other as mm -hmm. well and it's really amazing when you use actually um brush paintbrush or fingers and you draw things and symbols A huge tarpaulin and lots of oil and then people just kind of slithered in it but the same with paint providing it's a uh, it's a healthy paint mm. because obviously um, the, the chemicals or whatever it is, everything is chemical, you know, air is chemical as well. So um, whatever chemicals we use, it will get absorbed into the body. Mm. We need to be very mindful. We can't use things that have, you know, aluminum or um, things that have mercury, things like that. So we've got to be very, very careful what we use because some paint, especially the, um the cheap luminous paints are like that you know i use i use also edible paints because when i do my tantric cookery i use edible gold and edible silver to
to paint my cookies or cakes with or you know like that because it has a property that actually can create enlightenment instantly when you ingest these things but the same as as edible silver and edible gold you can actually have also you know edible paint or you can use the yoni juices or the love union juices that you extract afterwards you can use that as a an honoring gesture um, to ingest or to paint each other with it certainly has anti-aging properties and antidepressant properties so it's rejuvenating and it's um it brings happiness you can start today with drawing your yoni from how you imagine it to be doesn't yeah. matter. you don't have to look at it for you know draw it a few a few times not just once not just twice so do the yoni trait yoni portrait do it from your imagination how you like her to be how you imagine her to be connect channel touch your universe just like we we have a meditation for channeling the genitals where you touch the yoni and you talk you know the vagina monologues came like that through a process similar you can actually have the yoni portraits do your own yoni mandala you don't have to have different yonis like i was creating the 108 different yoni mandala that um people people donated women donated them but also you can draw your yoni you can take pictures of your yoni in different stages and do your own yoni mandala now to meditate on that that is far more profound than any other mandala see men can become enlightened by just meditating upon the yoni verse upon the yoni just meditating on the yoni they can become enlightened if they are opening and really surrendering to the process but women as well can rise their level of resonance, vibration, um, self-acceptance. They can raise that because women don't become enlightened the same way as men. It's a different process. It's a, a much more unfolding like a petals of a flower. So it's more of a, an engracement process. I request you start playing with your yoni yeah. as soon as possible. Namaste yourself. Namaste your yoni in your mind's eye. Namaste your yoni as the mandala, the ultimate kind of yantra. If you have a mirror and you, you do that, that will just be so profound. A lot of food for thought. <laughs>